Hi Alberta, this is Richa from Voice Alberta in the constituency of Athabasca, Barhead, Westlock. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, landscape full of uh, water bodies around, special reserves around. Houses are located off the roads completely. There are really any kind of settlements that you see on the road. Athabasca seems to be a small little place uh, which we ventured into and uh, when you get into the city limits from this place on we met a lot of people but we thought you know uh, this was this was the place uh, that could represent the land of whispering hills actually this is beautiful echoes happening around the place into the hills and also there's an echo uh, that there was a difficulty in the nomination for the sitting MLA who's now again the UCP candidate. It was a little tough job. We heard that echo whispering in the hills that Glenn Van Dyken um, went through a little tight space there in getting um, the candidature for the third time for this um, very constituency. There are a certain geographical changes in the boundaries of the constituency. But uh, nonetheless, uh, he did get back uh, as a candidate for the third time. He's already been a candidate. He's already been an MLA for the past uh, two terms. From here, from Alberta NDP, it's just a two-party competition from Athabasca, Barhead, Westlock. Uh, the NDP candidate for this constituency is Landon Tisha. Uh, it shows like a UCP hold. There could be chances of NDP, but there has to be a miracle. Generally, flipping... Uh, with the party is difficult, but yes, nominations have shown in the party that there could be a flip here. But I think uh, UCP can maintain this seat. This is one of the lucky seats for them. To continues to regimes for the same MLA. All the best to the people of Athabasca, Barhead, Westlock. Congratulations for this democratic process called elections. Go out and vote. Talk to the representatives more often, reach out to them. I understand it's difficult reaching out to them in such big provinces. But I think MLAs of these places know the difficulties of communication. And I'm sure they've chalked out really good ways of staying in touch with you. All the best uh, to Alberta for the elections on May 29th. We'll be in touch with the results. We'll be talking after the results also to you. Meanwhile, this is Richard from Voice Alberta. Thank you. <laughs>